what black trans women and black trans femmes know that no one else knows is the unique experience of being uh, black, <laughs> um, gender, non-binary, non-conforming, gender variant, um, and having to navigate living in this world um, with those identities. And that teaches us that actually none of these systems um, that are set up are there to serve us. Um, we know that, we call it out every day, um, and it's what makes us fierce. Mm -hmm. And, but what, if, what um, from those experiences that you're talking about, life at the intersections makes um, Black trans femmes and Black trans women um, um, vital leaders? Well, I'll say that um, to your point, Black trans women and Black trans femmes in this epidemic um, responded very quickly. Um, they knew from years of experience uh, that our communities have always lacked three things, three very basic things, housing, income, um, and um, food, right? Um, and so it was, a, it was clear, right, that trans femmes who were leading organizations that fight for the rights of Black trans women, Black trans femmes, um, and trans communities at large knew that in this moment, those are the three things that people need most. Um, and so they've been at work raising money primarily for uh, street sex workers, uh, for Black trans women who are also migrants to this country, right, um, who will not get um, a stimulus check um, to, to help with COVID, right, the folks who are left out of these systems that are set up. 